talk about how you first got involved with the with the show. Okay. Oh yeah, that was last year. Mm -hmm. Like last February. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Whoa. been a while. Yeah. Wow. Um, this that's actually where we auditioned. That room, <laughs> there, that building. Yeah. And that yeah, that thing. Um, uh, how did you get involved in this project? Oh, um, well, they, you know, they approached me and they were like, we would, we want you to be in this so badly. And <laughs> <laughs> no, that did not happen. That'd huh? be cool. That'd be cool. Um, no, it was, it came through, you know, my agent was like, hey, you have this audition for a new MTV series. It's called Underemployed. And sent over the script and read through it and I was like, this is awesome. This is really cool. Uh, and actually when it was, when we did the pilot, it was only a half hour and then it got bumped up to an hour and it got even, even better because you mm -hmm. could get into more, more story. And so I went in on the audition and got a call back a few, like a week later or something. And the whole process took, I think, two, it took a while. Yeah. It took a while, and then uh, I and then we tested yeah, together. Yeah, they brought us in together, and we like workshopped the scenes, and That's we right. we did it a whole bunch of different ways too. Uh, MTV they brought in all their executives and David Jamilar, the head of programming, and he's like, I like this, do it this way. How about this? How about you know try this, that, and the other thing, and then I think I think the relationship between Lou and Raviva on the show is is so critical and it's such a big part of the show that they really wanted to make sure that our chemistry and Barr and Jared would, would work as well as, as we, can ex we can hope. And so it really did. We, we connected from the get-go and it was just a, a perfect fit and we, we have a lot of fun together. So, so can yeah. you talk about that, that connection you guys have in the show? So you come back mm -hmm. pregnant. Right. And then you have to go get yeah. a job. So how does that kind of evolve throughout the first season? I think we... <laughs> the Look, the main thing to remember in this relationship is the love. They're very much in love with each other. There's passion when there's love, and we're both passionate people. He's very passionate about the environment, and I'm very passionate about my music, and we're passionate about each other. But then it's like it's like yeah. this this volcano of passion and it just erupts and it's yeah. it can cause some madness and uh, some some craziness as well. So I, I I think that's what keeps it fresh and exciting. Now do we follow them through the birth of the baby or is that not happening yet in the first season? Or can you not we're talk about we're that? in the hospital room, we're up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! I'm just spread open, and there's uh, epidural just flying about. <laughs> no, you, 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 uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're there mm -hmm. once she, once Rosemary has entered the world, and you, I th feel right from there, you see an immediate change in both uh, Lou and Raviva, um, especially Lou, because I mean she's been living with the child and. Uh, you know, taking care of, of her, doing what she needs to do, and then, you know, lose, lose a dude. I feel like most dudes were all like, yeah, you're, okay, you're pregnant, but okay, sure. And then the baby's out, and you're <laughs> like, oh, crap. Like, oh, crap. There's a child there. Yeah. Now my world is, is turned upside down, and then Lou, you know, wants to be the, the one who brings home the bacon and supports the family, but he doesn't want to lose track of exactly what he wants to do in his life, and he, he's trying to find where the, that balance is, and you see, like she said, because there's so much passion and, and love between us, it's, it, it's just, it comes from, like, a real, real place, and you see, you see the struggle that we go through, but we're, mm -hmm. we're in it together. I'll tell you a cool story. We Tom. we were shooting that one scene in in the in the birth scene where Rosemary comes out, and I remember that scene was for the first episode, and we have the baby, and it's very emotional because we just had the baby, and I'm looking at this 
creature in my arms, and at the same time, I'm an actor going through this new show that we're just about to embark on. And it was one of the first scenes that we shot, just going into the first series, uh, first season. And I remember going through it with him, and it was just so wonderful to have someone there with you to experience it with. And I remember looking at each other and feeling like, hey, we, we, can, we can do this. This is, this is cool. This can be a fun ride. And it was just what Lou and Reviva were going through, just in a, in a different way. So mm. that was fun. And what has been the most surprising part of being an underemployed so far for you? The most surprising part? <laughs> hmm. Surprising. Surprising. He's got a pretty big. I'm just kidding. Cut that out. I had to do it. You set it up. You set it up so well. What was? What surprised you the most when I <laughs> when I when I opted not to have the pillow on That's funny. over it, and then you were like, "Oh, oh hello, okay. hello." Sorry, um, there. I'm trying to think of what is it, what 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 surprised me. What surprised me. You really most. surprised me. I have to say this. Uh, you really, you don't Jared really surprised me because I didn't know what his work uh, ethic was and how how he works and working with him in a consistent way of, of four months and showing up to set every day and showing how prepared he would come and how he had everything planned out and set up and how he was always just completely wide open and he would play off of whatever I gave him and give me so much more when I needed it and that was just such a pleasant surprise and it really calmed me down to know that he was there to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sweet. I think, oh, something that surprised me, uh, working with Craig mm -hmm. was not like working with most showrunners. Most showrunners, their word is gold you are just up like a pawn in their game and you do what they say and you have no real input as to what your character is going through. But there were a bunch of times where we would be reading and we all really sort of fell into our characters and we started to think as our characters instead of as the actors being. And just Craig was very open to hearing what we had to say mm -hmm. and there were, there was a time where we sat down with him and we actually went page by page through a script and we were like does does this work for you yeah yeah but does this um it works but what if this and then Craig was very open to being like i yeah i never i never thought of that i like i like where this is going and so we had a lot of uh creative room to roam which was i think really surprising cuz uh, yeah that was a Beautiful surprise. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you work with people who sometimes are too in their own ego to listen to anything that you have to say, and it was just very, uh, very refreshing. Yeah, very free. Mm -hmm. 